Hello everyone. Today we are going to get ourselves familiarized with the difficult intubation trolley. We all know that difficult intubation or failure to ventilate can end up with mortality. Hence, it's really important to have prior preparation to manage anticipated as well as unanticipated difficult airway. We, the Department of Anesthesiology and Critical Care of Faculty of Medicine, Pera Adenia, have created this difficult intubation trolley in accordance with the Difficult Airway Society guidelines. And this trolley will be stored in between Theatre 4 and Theatre 5 so that it will be very easy for you to take this trolley in an emergency to both sides of the theatre complex. Now let's get familiarize ourselves with the contents of the difficult airway trolley. Okay, so as you can see there are four drawers and it is labeled as plan A, plan B, plan C and plan D that is in accordance with the difficult airway society guidelines. So plan A is an attempt to intubation. So you need in a difficult in intubation different sizes of laryngoscope blades. These are the Macintosh blades and Miller blades and McCoy blade and the short handle and also here you have the video laryngoscope and this also has the stillet and an extra bougie. So all these equipments can be used in an attempt to intubate the patient in the first go in plan A. Let's move to drawer B. Now according to the Difficult Airway Society guidelines, if you have found it difficult to intubate, now your priority is ventilation, oxygenation and ventilation of the patient. For that, you will need supraglottic airway devices of different sizes. And the second generation supraglottic airway devices are stored here. And here you have Three, size 3 and size 4 eye gel and very importantly here you have the intubating LMA. So you have the LMA which can be used for intubation, the ET tube that can be facilitated through the intubating LMA and the other equipment which are need for intubation through the LMA. Right, let's move on to dryer C. This is where you have found it difficult to intubate and ventilate with the supraglottic KYA devices and now you are trying to somehow oxygenate the patient. For that you are going to do the bag mask ventilation. So you will have different sizes of masks, different sizes of oropharyngeal airways and nasopharyngeal airways. If you have found it difficult to ventilate, oxygenate the patient, now there is no other way other than going for emergency cricothyrotomy. So plan D is emergency cricothyrotomy. What is now taught is actually not the needle cricothyrotomy but the surgical cricothyrotomy. For that you have this box. In that you will have size 23 blade, bougie and size 6 ET tube all that are needed for emergency cricothyroid puncture and ventilation. In addition to that, you also have here the cricothyrotomic sets 
which will facilitate a small tube which also can be used or else you have the needle cricothyrotomy set here right and also this facilitate you to store equipment needed for fiber optic intubation so if you have planned for a fiber optic intubation you can store the monitor here and assemble your equipment on the top of the trolley here in addition to that you have different guidelines for management of difficult intubation situation so here you have intube management guidelines for unanticipated difficult intubation for cricothyrotomy puncture and also the guidelines for obstetric difficult airway management and so you can get familiarized with these guidelines and you will also have the extubation guidelines as well right so this is the difficult intubation trolley so when you come for your shift make sure that you get familiarized with the content and go through our videos and educational program on how to manage a difficult intubation see you guys bye